For two weeks, I was tied to a chair with my hands cuffed behind my back. For seven months, I was kept in a corrugated cell with one wrist cuffed. For 18 months, I was in solitary confinement. When they felt I was not being cooperative, I was punished. I would not be allowed to sleep for more than 15 minutes a night. Crushed glass and laxatives were added to my food. Torture is like genocide and slavery. It is a destroyer of humanity and dignity. Uh, therefore, everything must be done uh, to ensure that it is absolutely prohibited. It is completely um, morally reprehensible. It must remain a taboo. They started beating me up and through so much they beat. Even now I have some pains that is related to that. And they kept me in a cell with another colleague of mine uh, for two weeks, every night from 12 till early morning, around 5 o'clock till morning prayer was called, will be pressured with water, salt water, with huge pipe and all night we stayed awake and it was horrible. That is for me the main definition of torture, to put a person in a situation where one person uh, has total control over the other. Uh, and that's also the message. You're totally powerless, very often you're naked. Uh, you're exposed to now electric shocks or whatever they apply to you. So the message is it's better if you cooperate. For the first seven days in detention, I was tortured constantly. For over three weeks, I wasn't allowed to change my clothes and the soldiers would threaten me. We will cut your nose off and tell the rest of the town you're a prostitute. Las torturas psicológicas que entran dentro del grado de, de tortura pueden no dejar marca. Puede ser una amenaza, una amenaza a la familia. Si usted no confiesa, si usted no dice, si usted no menciona quiénes son, si usted no firma esta declaración, le puede suceder algo a su familia. Esa puede ser la peor de las torturas. Unfortunately, the phenomena of torture and ill-treatment in prisons and detention centers in the Gaza Strip uh, and the West Bank is, is, is increasing and is being very well noticed, especially during the past two years. We have seen that both parties, whether the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank or the uh, de facto authority, the post-government in the Gaza Strip, are really practicing torture and ill-treatment of Palestinian prisoners, including uh, severe uh, torture cases that we have documented. Torture occurs and still occurs throughout the world uh, for a variety of reasons. One, uh, because of political repression. Secondly, it can be because of, of um, a failure of a system of detention um, and systems of detention. I saw up to 40 people in a room that could, in, in normal circumstances, have held, I would say, 15 or at the most 20 people. There were also the, the cells that were used for solitary confinement and it was absolutely um, disgusting. They, they should not have held human beings in there. And people often don't think about, um, if you are locked down in a very small dark room for 23 out of 24 hours, for how long before that starts to affect your mental and your, health and your physical health seriously?